Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um... Budget coming up, winter round the corner, no signs yet of more money for the NHS and a bad flu season heading this way. Who have improved their any performance. Not to mention facing an audience of NHS staff who will have to deliver the patient care with all this going on. This government's approach to the NHS is very simple. It is our most important public service. We want to invest more in it. We know that it needs more investment. It needs more funding going forward because of the huge demographic pressures that we face. And as soon as the economy is able to afford it, we will put that extra investment in. Last winter, hospitals struggled, missing almost all targets. Next year, funding is set to grow at just 0.4%, one of the lowest growth rates in the history of the health service. Jeremy Hunt is believed to still be putting the case to the Treasury, but today the head of NHS England intervened, painting a bleak picture of staff cuts and more. On the current funding outlook, it is going to be increasingly hard to expand mental health services or improve cancer care, services the public need and rightly want. And crucially, on the current funding outlook, the NHS waiting list will grow to 5 million people by 2021. That's an extra million people on the waiting list, one in 10 of us waiting for an operation. A political point aimed at central government pledges on cancer and mental health, and he was unstoppable. The NHS wasn't on the ballot paper, but it was on the ballot bus. Vote leave for a better funded health service, 350 million pounds a week. Trust in democratic politics will not be strengthened if anyone now tries to argue you voted Brexit partly for a better funded health service, but precisely because of Brexit, you now can't have one. The sign, of course, is all about the pressure that the NHS is currently under. But today's speech from Simon Stevens, an extraordinarily strong speech from the head of NHS England, was all about putting pressure on the Chancellor of the Exchequer. It's only two weeks to the budget, and it is clear that Mr Stevens does not believe Philip Hammond has heard the pleas, the cries for more funding. We have been arguing for some time, our frontline trust leaders have been saying they cannot deliver the quality of care and the performance standards that the NHS would want to deliver on the current money. We've identified that the NHS needs £4 billion next year and it will need over £20 billion by the end of the Parliament. That's a lot of money, but what that is is a return to the growth in funding that we saw for the first 63 years of the NHS. Already some services are being rationed in the NHS, hip and knee operations, for instance. And today raised the spectre that without more money, indeed without considerably more money, cuts will begin to hit at the very heart of patient care.